Yo, what up guys? Also here with another trade up video. And in this video, I'll show you guys 6 low risk trade ups with insane profit margins. So before we start, this is the last chance to enter my stat track minimal wear M4A1 flashback giveaway. So if you want to enter, just check out my pinned comment down below. Now, let's go to the sponsor for this video. So the sponsor for this video will be Item Herald. Item Herald is a newer third-party CSGO marketplace and is one of the best ones in my opinion. So you can get a lot of good deals in here of up to 35-37% to 37 as you can see here. It also has one of the lowest selling fees of 5% if you have Item Herald in your Steam name. So Item Herald uses peer-to-peer -peer trading so that means that there will be no 7-day trade hold if you want to buy an item in here. So it actually is like buff but a lot easier for people outside of China because you can use payment methods like G2A Pay and other cryptos in this site. Also unlike buff, it doesn't require your Steam API key and as we know, API scams are very prevalent right now so using Item Herald will be a lot safer. So in total, it is a great site and if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. So that is all and thank you guys for your time. So with that out of the way, Let's go to the first trade up. So first trade up will be a simple mil spec glove trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 7 minimal wear glove skins for 15 cents each and 3 factory new glove skins for 23 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0.07. So to achieve this, I recommend using glove skins with floats less than 0.09 and factory new glove skins with floats less than 0.04. So as you can see here, these inputs will be very easy to get. So make sure to try this one out. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to one dollar and seventy four cents, or one euro and forty seven cents. For the outcomes, the Cyrex will double your money, so that is really nice. Then the flashback in the Royal concerts will give you a small profit, and the Stinger in the Gilla will give you a small loss. So the return of the trade up will add up to eleven point forty nine percent, and you will get twenty cents each time you do this trade up. So overall. A nice and easy trade up with inputs really easy to get, so make sure to try this one out. Next up, I will be showing you guys a P250 whiteout trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 1 minimal wear chop shop skin and 9 factory new train skins. So for the chop shop skins, you can use the Galil Urban Rubble and the USP Paragreen and you can get them for $2.11 each. And for the factory new train skins, you can use any of these 5 skins and you can get them for 15 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.0135. So to achieve this, I recommend using chop shop skins with floats less than 0 0.08 and factory new train skins with floats less than 0 0.006. So keep in mind that these inputs will be relatively hard to get as it took me around 1 day to get these inputs. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to $3.48 or €2.94. For the outcomes, you will only have a 22% chance to get the profit with the chop shop skins, but hitting the P250 whiteout will give you more than 20 times your money. So this trade up will be profitable overall. Also keep in mind that you can get a lot of overpay with the MAC10 fade, the CZ Emerald and the MP7 full stop as they are very low floats. Then, you will lose around $3 with the train skins, but keep in mind that the positives will outweigh the negatives for this trade up. So the return of the trade up will add up to 21.55% and you will get 75 cents each time you do this trade up. So overall, a risky but really profitable trade up. But unluckily for us, we didn't get a profit in here, so let's just move on to the next trade up. So next trade up will be a stat track mil spec wildfire trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 5 minimal wear wildfire skins and 5 factory new chromo and skins. So for the wildfire skins, you can use the tech 9 jambaya and the dual Beretta cartel and you can get them for 75 cents each. And for the factory new chromo and skins, you can use the XM quicksilver and the scar 20 grotto and you can get them for 90 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0.07. So to achieve this, I recommend using minimal wear skins with floats less than 0.105 and factory new skins with floats less than 0.04. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to $8.25 or €6.96. For the outcomes, the Glock Royal Legion will give you 3 times your money. Then, the FAMAS Valens and the Desert Eagle Naga will give you double your money and the rest of the outcomes will lose you around $2 to $4 each. 
So the return of the trade up will add up to 12.97% and you will get $1.07 each time you do this trade up. So overall, an easy and reliable trade up with inputs very easy to get. So I highly recommend you guys to try this one out. So next trade up will be a restricted Vanguard trade up. And for this trade up, we will be using 10 Vanguard skins. So the only skin you can use is the Sawed Off Highwayman since the other skins will be a little bit too expensive. So you can get this Sawed Off for around 67 cents each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.09333. So that will be very straightforward. Just get inputs less than that. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to $6.70 or 5 euros and 67 cents. For the outcomes, it will again be very straightforward. You will get more than $5 profit with the XM Tranquility. Then, you will get around $2 with the P250 Cartel and lose around $3 with the Scar20 Cardiac. So the return of the trade up will add up to 22.24% and you will get $1.50 each time you do this trade up. So overall, a nice and very profitable trade up so I highly recommend you guys to try this one out. So next trade up will be a trade up I have shown in my $1 to knife series. But I don't think I have explained this trade up in my trade up guides so here we go. So this will be a restricted stat track spectrum 2 trade up. So for this trade up, we will be using 10 stat track field tested spectrum 2 skins. So for this trade up, you can use the UMP exposure, the Ziggy and the Tacticat and you can get them for 71 cents each. So keep in mind that the average float needs to be less than 0.1791. The total cost of the trade up will add up to $7.10 or 5 euros and 98 cents. For the outcomes, you will get around the $4 profit with the M4A1 leaded glass. Then, the rest of the outcomes will just cancel each other out, so that is really nice. So the return of the trade up will add up to 16.9% and you will get $1.20 each time you do this trade up. So overall, another safe, easy, and reliable trade up where the inputs are really easy to get, so I highly recommend you guys to try this one out. So the last trade up will be a trade up for one of my favorite skins in the game right now. So this will be a covert op wildfire trade up and for this trade up, we will be using 10 field tested CS20 skins. So for this trade up, you can use the MP9 Hydra, the P90 Nostalgia and the AUG Death by Puppy and you can get them for $3.20 each. So the average float for this trade up must be less than 0 0.202, so this should be very straightforward. So the total cost of the trade up will add up to $32 or 27 euros. For the outcomes, this will be a 50-50 trade up in where you will get $30 if you win and $20 if you lose. So the return of the trade up will add up to 13.72% and you will get $4.39 each time you do this trade up. So overall, this is a very good coin flip trade up and I highly recommend it to people who want an adrenaline pump. 3, 2, 1... Yeah! So anyway, that is all for today. If you would like to see the best trade ups for every price range, make sure to check out this video. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and make sure to join my discord server. Also don't forget to join my giveaway. Anyway, that is all for today. This is Alsu and peace out.